Welcome back. We are here at the farm, just uh, checking out if our fermenting's done. Uh, it is the next day, so it's October now. Let's see. Yep, 100%. Beautiful. Opened. Let's shut that off. Let's go ahead and start loading up our uh, our business. Get our money coming in. Because uh, we're going to need it. Also, we did get another pallet. Uh, or a pallet of um, cotton. So we should be able to you know, sell that, make some money. All right, beautiful. I believe the only way is this thing right here. Just dump that in there and we'll get this started. All right, she is rocking and rolling. Time to load her up. Eventually, we might have to get some uh, conveyors to help us out here, because this is going to be a, uh, a process. But conveyors eventually definitely will make this a lot easier. Can I just do this from the side? Make my life easier. Yep. Perfect. All right. Well, this is going to take me a minute. So, I'll see you guys in a second. All right. Our digestate tank is full, 30,000 liters. So, we got to kill some time until we can fill that up some more. So, I want to go get a uh, trailer. So, we, a flatbed kind of trailer. Actually, you know what? Let's take the truck. The truck's going to be faster. We'll just leave this here for now. We'll take the truck. We can throw the pallet in the back. It does have straps, so that's perfectly fine. Let's go grab that pallet, and we'll find out where we can sell some cotton. I'm sure it's probably a spinnery or some sort, but at least we'll make a little bit of money, and uh, we can upgrade some of our stuff. Grass is looking good. It's growing. But... It's going to be a couple days before we can cut that again, so I'm not too worried about it. It'll be a nice break. Beautiful. Let's figure out where we can uh, sell this. Beautiful. It looks like it's the uh, urban sheep clothing at, uh, at the store. So let's head that way. All right. We are here. Clothing factory right next to the shop is, I guess, where we selling. It must be just in here. Let's see if it will take it right off the truck. It might. Yep, it will. Beautiful. 3,500, that's awesome. Can't complain there. I wonder, can I change this to a flatbed? I want to say this has a Ability to be an animal transport, which is fantastic for later. A capacity of 4,000, a bed, or bale trail, a bale trailer. That's that's what we have right now. Okay, so we don't need to do anything to it. That is perfectly fine with me. Now, while we're here, let's look at uh, the sales today. Ooh. This guy will help us out a lot. 90 horsepower we have plenty in the tractor but we would have to convert that even that's leased though we can't convert it if it's leased maybe we'll pick that up for later because that's a good pickup the forge pickup we can pick up straw off of uh contracted fields we can now load all of our silage just by driving into it that's going to make life a lot easier yeah we're buying it we're down to 19 grand we'll have to come back for it we don't really need the tractor right now. Let's go ahead and return the tractor. And then, hmm, how much was that tractor? Tractor has been returned. We don't need it at the moment. We have to wait for grass to go through. So we don't really need it. But now at least we have that to pick up when we do need it. Let's uh, see if there's any contracts available. There's a bunch of bailing contracts which I'm not really planning on doing just because uh, we're doing a lot of grass. 
cultivating contract three grand fertilizing for 18 what field is that 38 god Ooh, potato harvest or sugar beet harvest for 29 grand that's pretty good oats oats would give us the straw that we need and it comes with something with a three-point link in front that might be uh pretty good another oats another oats wow we'd get a lot of straw off that all right that's what we're doing we're gonna borrow equipment and we're off First, we're gonna head to field 10. It's the closest field near us, so let's head that way. Oh, traffic, I'm sorry. I'm a big harvester, I can't do anything about it. But at least we'll get some contracts, get some money in, and uh, we're gonna need our own tractor because uh, that roller needs uh, some help. So we gotta look for something around, just like 100 horsepower, because there's one roller that's a little bit bigger. Oh, where do I need to go? In here. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, and we are in. Not too bad. It's very tight turning into here though. All these big harvesters they give you for contracts, it's probably not gonna make it. So we're gonna have to make sure when we get a harvester, it's a, a little smaller. Now I wanna make sure swath dropping is on. Let's unfold the harvester. And uh, let's, let's get this started. It's a nice big field. Not too bad. Nope. There we go. That should be swath droppings. Perfect. All right. Having that tool this early is fantastic. Nice and cheap. 26 grand, I think it was. That's just going to make life a lot easier. Now, I'm probably not going to be turning it into other things. I'm probably just going to make it sell it as straw. Just so we get a little extra on each field. Um, if I did make it build a business and do that, we'd have too much money too fast. And I don't want to do that. Maybe eventually we'll make it into silage and put it through our own business. But that's later on down the road. Right now, we're just going to sell it as straw just to make an extra buck here and there. So not too bad. At least we got a nice, somewhat clear day. It's a little overcast, but not too bad. And uh, some two more jobs to do. We got three of the same crop to do now two of them are the same location so we'll deal with that when we have to uh, this one is going to a different location that's why I kind of wanted to start with this first but they're all pretty close to each other I think the field uh, right over there is our next field so not too far shouldn't be too bad yeah now we're gonna get a lot of straw today field seven is now complete and uh, now we can go ahead and pick up some straw. I gotta deliver this last bit here. But uh, a couple things have changed since I started this field. I started recording this uh, episode about a week ago. Uh, some things, you know, work involved and everything. So some th time has passed. Um, so we're a week later now. And yeah, some things have changed. So. Right now we are on times three speed. That'll be changing as well. The day cycle is gonna change and we are on um, seasonal cycles. So we are running seasons on this map. So some different changes. I think I'm gonna do maybe three day months and uh, maybe, I don't know, times five. I think times fives will be good. I'm gonna play around with that. It might change, it might not, um, but some things might change there. And another thing is, um, I went out and actually got a steering wheel. So I have, right now I'm using an actual steering wheel and pedals and everything uh, that I haven't used since I was probably eight years old. So it's been a long time and it took me a couple days to kind of get the hang of it. Um, I also tried playing a racing game, which was a horrible idea. I can't drive a, a racing games for anything, not even with a controller. I'm not I'm not great with, but man, it's it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It is really fun. It's just uh, when you haven't done it in I don't know, 
22 years, give or take. Yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. So all the people that use a steering wheel, uh, I give you credit. Because uh, it takes a little bit of skill to uh, get used to it. So I'm uh, in the process of that. So any driving you see, anything like that will be done with the steering wheel. Um, I will have to use controller for telehandler, stuff like that, because it doesn't have the joysticks. Uh, other than that, most everything I'm going to try to do with the steering wheel. Try to do it most realistic as possible. And even when I'm using the controller, I'm going to be using gas pedals, everything like that. I'm going to try to use as much as possible. Now, adjusting my camera, unfortunately, uh, I can't do. I can zoom in on the steering wheel, but I can't do the rotation, which is really something I wish was available. But unfortunately, it's not. And walking is not available on this on this steering wheel. So I'm going to have to, when I'm walking around, it's going to be controlled. But... It is definitely uh, different. Now, we got all this oats from the contract, and uh, we're just gonna be selling it. We have no way to store it. We have nowhere to put it. Um, so we're just gonna be selling it, trying to make as much money as we can. Now, I have found a tractor I've been looking into, and seeing what we kind of need, it might work. I'm gonna have to add a front loader attacher, uh, the three-point link I'm gonna have to add but it will give us opportunities to do a little bit more. This trailer is heavy. Now, a couple things you might notice. Um, there's businesses over here that normally are not here. So there's a, a couple businesses that I added in earlier. Like I said, I came on here, bought a couple pieces of land, added some businesses, and uh, we're gonna have to pay for them no matter what so it's not gonna be uh, anything cheaty we're just I just put them in there so that they'd be here ahead of time all right let's go ahead and get this guy sold Ooh, yep that's literally at the very end and let's see how much money we're gonna make off this we probably are not gonna make a crazy amount of money oats they sell for a good amount but not in crazy Wow okay 11 grand that's pretty good and that's not even including the uh contract huh oh, that's the gas pedal i know how to drive i've been doing it all my life all right this is the only problem i can't see where i'm going yep just back up right there oh, keep going there we go and now we can pull up Very nice. So I'm thinking about um, tractor that a modded tractor it came out a little while ago. It's not crazy horsepower. I think the highest it goes is like a hundred horsepower, but it's a, it's a good looking tractor. And uh, I got I played around a little bit for it, and uh, it'll work for what we need. So honestly, it'll be fine. We don't need much at the moment. We don't have big machinery, but. These jobs, we're going to have to improve our capabilities of doing the grass work. That's our only means of really income besides these contracts works. So, yeah, we're going to have to really uh, make ourselves more efficient. And it is what it is. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Make it more efficient, then we can move and uh, get some bigger machinery. But at least making it more efficient will help out. Hopefully, uh... We won't have any issues. I'm thinking uh, we definitely need a bigger trailer. I would love to get a bigger um, header for our forage harvester. There is one that works. I did test. And uh, probably the, the tractor is going to be good. And maybe a roller. Uh, we'll see how well we work with the silage. Right now I have the telehandler just unloading a full bucket in there constantly. And I just go over there every now and fill up the bucket. So it's going to pay us, I think every hour it pays you for how much power you're producing. So we should be getting paid decently um, as time goes on. But we'll see. All right, we are back on the field. And uh, yep, contracted work, collecting some straw. 
This is going to make us extra money on the side. You know, we actually made pretty good money for the most part. But it'll make us a little extra, which would be so nice. But at least we can get this done. Straw does not pay out that well. So it's not going to be crazy money. Uh, we're not going to be turning it into anything. At least in the beginning, we might turn it into silage later. Uh, but right now, it's just going to be straw. We have no way to turn it into silage right now, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, it's going to uh, it's gonna be nice having all, all this extra. This I'm so glad this finally came to consoles. It's something we've needed. I mean, PC has had this for so long, and it literally, <laughs> it's ridiculous that we haven't had it. But they said it was scripts. They said it was other things, and uh, we're doing it. So obviously, that was a lie. I mean, they originally said Productions was because of scripts, but in 19, we had Productions with certain mods. So, I mean, everything that uh, gets said, I, I don't know if we have to believe it, or I don't know. It's kind of uh, up in the air sometimes. But yeah, this is gonna be well worth our time. It's not, too, it doesn't take too long because it goes, I think, 15 miles per hour, so. It doesn't really take too long to clear a field. It's uh, a lot faster than harvesting a field, I'll tell you that. Oh, and that's a full load. I'm just going to drop this guy right over here. Shut that off. And we'll just unhook it. That's fine. Perfect. Let's find out where we're taking it. All right. Looks like we're going to the livestock market. All right. Haven't been there yet. Now... I believe in the first episode I mentioned about the cows that are there. We're not going to be touching them. Those are going to stay there. If we end up doing cows, uh, we'll have to buy our own. It's just, I don't want to touch something. I know technically they're ours, according to the map. Uh, but I don't want to touch them. I want to get our own cows if we're going to do that. Livestock market. Beautiful. Let's let this guy go. Come on, giddy up. Uh, this, uh, this tractor's got a weird shifting. Doesn't like to get up to speed right away. So those are the cows that we technically own, but we're not going to be using. So that's just, it is what it is. That's a part of the map. We're not going to be using it. I don't think we need our hazards on or our directional. And this is where it gets interesting. Backing up. This guy over here, and we flop the camera around so I can see what I'm doing. All right, and that should come up beautiful. Let's see how much we're going to make off our first load. I mean, it's 22,000 liters, so maybe a couple grand. Not bad. $1,600? I'll take it. Better than nothing. Let's go get another load. I may have made a mistake. We have two contracts going to the same location. Not sure if it's gonna work out properly. It might mean that uh, we have to do both harvests and then complete the contracts. Hopefully there's enough to do it. Uh, I did have a worker, just kinda a local farm hand, um, taking care of some of this stuff. I did talk to the farmer. He does want his straw same with the next contract they did want their straw so that's okay we won't get that i've been selling the other straw from the other field uh, i figured i'd come over here and uh take care of this little bits that the uh, worker wasn't doing too uh too good with so uh he did all right though he got, he got about half the field done this is a smaller field the, the last field was the biggest field we'll be doing today uh because yeah it's uh 
all the rest of them are kind of small. Now, they're not like crazy small. We'll still get a good amount of yield off of them, but they're definitely uh, no monsters. That's all right. Uh, there are a bunch of contracts for today. Unfortunately, um, it's uh, 2.30 2 right now. I don't know if we'll get to many more today. Uh, we're on times three speed. I am going to change it to three day months with times five speed. I think times five speed, we won't be able to get a crazy amount done each month, but it will be uh, faster than your average day. And, you know, productions will still move pretty quickly, but nothing crazy. Just kind of doing a zigzag to get all this. I know it looks kind of weird, but it is what it is. This one was going straight. But yeah, not a bad field here. Uh, we're right off the main road. Most of our jobs, I think our other job is right across that field right there. And that looks like actually a good sized field. So we might make out on it. Oats is selling for a good price right now. So, hey, we might make out on the deal. We're at 43,000, almost 44,000. So not too bad. I still have a little bit of straw to pick up. But uh, yeah, should uh, with all these contracts, I think we're gonna be sitting around seventy thousand, maybe eighty high end, uh, depending on how much yield we get to keep. So it's really just gonna determine how much we really make. Honestly, I've been I haven't stopped smiling since I've been playing because using a steering wheel is such a big change that it just like it changes the whole game for me loving it having a ball honestly so much fun if you have a steering wheel you know the feeling uh, when you first got one I'm sure it was just a, a huge change and it just like it made the game feel new again uh, if you don't have a steering wheel honestly I really enjoy it um, cheap ones you can get for like a hundred bucks not too bad um, I found this one for about 60 bucks uh, it's brand new it's I was like, I can't pass up that offer. Uh, I forget who makes this one. I think it's Ori. It's H O R I. Yeah. Um, Japanese brand. I don't know. It's made for Xbox. That's what I play on. They do have PlayStation ones, and the Xbox one will work for PC. So there's options out there. There's also some amazing ones. I know Thrustmaster makes an amazing one that actually like vibrates when you uh, drive over certain objects and stuff. Those are two, three hundred dollars. I wasn't paying that much. I had no problem paying a hundred, but I saw this one for sixty. I was like, that's perfect. And uh, oh, look at that, fifty percent done. Not too bad. Yeah, this one's uh, maybe one trailer load, maybe one and a half, but. We'll see when we go to sell, actually, uh, what completes, because it could even amount to both of the uh, jobs that we have going on. It could just give it to one, and then we unload the second batch. It might give it to the other one. It's going to be a little different. I know I've done uh, double contracts for the same sell point, for the same material before, but it's been a minute. So, can't say 100%. On how it goes we'll just head straight down here but yeah honestly just just enjoying enjoying having a steering wheel so much fun but yeah uh, silage is still getting transferred it's gonna be a slow process it will probably be all night transferring some I might bring some down to the uh, animal dealer they have a bale sell point we can sell silage there um, I do want to get digestate though we do have a digest digestate trailer so we are able to move it and we can sell that for more money on top of what we're making every hour i haven't noticed how much we were actually making per hour i've been selling things haven't really paid attention uh it's almost a new hour now so we'll see how much we're actually gonna make these contracts really aren't taking crazy long uh most of it was me just dealing with the straw 
that's really kind of what has been sucking down the hours. So it shouldn't be too bad. But all in all, we're moving along. I think uh, by the end of this episode, we, uh, we might buy our tractor. Or and maybe a trailer. I'm probably going to sell the old trailer and buy a new one. And then possibly if we have enough money, buy two new ones. I want to get one with a swivel um, axle so that way our mower works better. It does work better off the swivel uh, versus a locked in kind of axle. So, but I do want the locked in one for backing up because I cannot back up those things to save my life. So we'll get one of each. They can connect together. We can add, you know, a little bit more. Um, and it will give us a bigger capacity so that when we're doing grass, we're not going back and forth. When we're doing jobs like this, we could use our own stuff. If we have a harvester right now, we'd be doing this all on our own stuff. But we're not going to be able to uh, afford a harvester for a little bit. We're making decent money, but we'll see how the, the days go. Uh, we're not making crazy money off of our silage yet. Obviously, we haven't loaded half of it in there. That, that BGA only takes 30,000 liters. I really wish that was 100,000 or something. Just a little bit more to process. Um, I think we only have maybe 1,300 liters of digestate, which isn't that much. Um, now digestate, cell point, uh, Missy B's slurry yard, digestate does sell for a good price. I think it's like a thousand liters per th or yeah a thousand dollars per thousand liters so we're going to be able to make decent money once we get digestate in and that's why i really want to start you know making sure we load that thing up uh it's just going to take a while so i'm fine with it. we can do contract work and just use the biogas um and just keep loading it up it just takes a while it is what it is uh, I'm not going to be cutting the grass every single time it's ready. In the beginning, I probably will, but it's not 100% going to be uh, my main view. Uh, contract work, once we start getting maybe our own fields, uh, I'm probably going to keep that a grass field just in case we do um, cows or sheep or anything. It's going to be nice having that as a grass field. We can turn it into hay or keep it in, and make it silage, do total mixed rations with that. We can do a lot with that. So, and even if I really wanted to, I could cut it in half, still make a good amount of grass and do another crop. But obviously that involves cultivators, seeders, all that stuff. So it's gonna be a little while before we can afford that stuff. So contract work is where it's gonna be for right now. And we are doing seasons, so really come January and February, probably December as well. We're not going to be able to plant anything just yet. We're going to have to wait till springtime to actually get something in the ground. So now's the time. Do some contract work and uh, save our money as best we can. I don't want to really be taking out any loans. I don't plan on taking out loans. If we really are in a pinch, maybe we can do that. But I really don't want to focus on uh, being able to just give us a bunch of money. I want to work for our money, but it is what it is. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There's always uh, different things. Oh, we did just get paid. I didn't see exactly how much that was. It looks like maybe a thousand dollars, give or take. So that's not bad. Thousand dollars a day. That's 24, 24 hours with 24,000. That's not bad. I can live with an extra 24,000 a day. That means that takes care of all of our bills. If we do hire workers, that'll pay for them. That's not bad. It might not even have been that much uh, because of the process speed. I think we we're at 23, actually, no, that was probably 500. So, all right, 12,000 a day. Still pays for our workers. Honestly, can't complain there. But anyways, you've seen me harvest long enough. I'll see you guys when we're done with this field. All right, field over here is complete. We are heading to Sunrise Bakery. 
Uh, there's another thousand liters in the harvester. Hopefully this completes this contract or even the other contract. As long as it completes one of them, I'm fine. I just hope we don't complete it and it sells a bunch of the product because uh, then we might not have enough to complete the second. We'll see. If it completes the first one and we get extra for the second one, great. If it completes one and uh, we sell a little bit, I'm okay with it. If we sell a lot, uh, that's gonna be a problem. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to see and find out. Now I'm probably gonna do the other contract off screen. Um, I'll do that tonight and uh, we can get things rolling. But I do, maybe after this, I can't complete the first contract until I get the last uh, harvest done. But if we can get um, a tractor before the end of the day, that'd be huge. That way I can start picking up the rest of that straw without needing this tractor and this trailer. I could use our trailer, yeah, it's small, but you know, it's something. Uh, and that way, at least we could, you know, have multiple things going on at once. And uh, I could have the, little, the farm hand that was helping us, help us on the next farm. It is getting, uh, starting to get darker. It's technically only uh, 330, 340, but it's getting darker. So we need to get things going a little quicker. I don't want to be harvesting all night long and having issues with that. So we'll make it work. All right, we've arrived. It looks like the bakery's just down this little area down here. I might have to back in. Yeah. Let's go down here. Oh, there's a greenhouse down here. How much is this property? This might be perfect. Hmm. Let's get this sold first. And we'll see exactly how much this property is. Because this might be a little, uh little nest egg for us. Am I not in the cell point? There we go. Beautiful. Contract on 10 is 80% complete. I want to stop that. What am I at? Alright, 76. Okay. Alright, beautiful. Now if we go down to here, alright, beautiful. That contract is complete and it added a little bit of oats to the next contract without giving us any money. Beautiful. So this contract that we did not lease any items, we can go ahead and collect. Beautiful. That contract is now done. Now, one thing I want to see. This field right here, 12,000? And it has a greenhouse on it? Hmm. That's interesting. Could be nice. We'll have to think about that. This doesn't have a, a crazy field, but even if I wanted to use this as a parking lot, you know, it would just be a nice turnaround. We could store some stuff, get our greenhouse. Interesting. All right. Let's, uh, we got enough money. Let's go get our tractor. All right, we are up at the store. Just drove down here and uh, let's get us a new vehicle. Let's, uh, let's run over here. We'll uh, check out some new vehicles. I would love to have something like that. That's, that's a monster. All right, we have purchased our first tractor. It's 35,000, just over. But she's here. She's a beaut. She runs at about 100 horsepower. Not too bad. Can't complain. But that is officially ours. That's awesome. Glad to see it. Can't wait to use it. But I think that's going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.